The Russian Revolution was the war that brought down one of the biggest empires in history. The war was primarily fought by the Reds against the Whites. As we know, the Reds won and created the Soviet Union. But what if something different happened? What if the Whites won the Russian Revolution? The White Army. In the south of Russia, we have the Volunteer Army and the Dawn Army. Together, they had around 100,000 soldiers at their peak and were very decentralized. They had no common goals and even the higher-ups didn't have a common ideology. Their main unifying factor was that they all hated communism. Then we have the Siberian Army, which, at the time of conscription, numbered around 180,000 men and was by far the biggest threat to Soviet existence. And at last, we have the foreign aid, the famous Czechoslovak Legion, that had 50,000 soldiers in the constant armament supply that came from the Entente countries. Alexander Kolchak was a Russian admiral, military leader, and polar explorer who served as supreme ruler of Russia. Previously, he served in the Imperial Russian Navy and fought in the Russo-Japanese War and World War I. For the Whites to win, they would need a unification of their armed forces into one single centralized body that would prioritize strategic objectives. The various factions would be disbanded, and their respective warlords would lose their autonomy and act as generals under a common front. As a way of giving the White Army even more chances, let's say the famine of 1921 happens three years earlier, and it affects the central parts of Red-controlled territory. Whether it be harsh war policies, droughts, or the unwillingness of the farmers to cooperate with the government, a deadly famine devastates the Reds' morale and civilian support. Thus, the Whites use this to rally the population to their side and manage to conduct an offensive to retake the more industrialized parts of Russia. white troops nearing Moscow, the Bolsheviks capitulate on the, the 24th of November, 1918. What are the exact aftermaths of the war? Well, Russia lost its western territories, Ukraine, Belarus, and the Baltic states. Now a broken empire, Supreme Leader Alexander Kolchak must reign in the lost territories. Belarus and Ukraine being ravaged by war themselves would be easy conquests for Russia. So not long after the civil war, the newly formed Russian army invades the breakaway states.
After reclaiming some of the former Russian Empire territories, there will most likely be a huge sweep of political and economic reforms in the new state. First of all, the monarchy wouldn't be restored, and instead Kolchak would remain the supreme ruler of Russia, with some of his power probably shared by generals and regional administrators. On the economy side, this Russia would be very different to the one in our timeline. In our timeline, the Soviets realized that they lacked the industrial backbone to compete with the rest of Europe and thus started brutal industrial and collectivization programs to catch up to the West. But now it would be different. Russia under Kolchak is a capitalist society and with great relations with the West, industrialization might take place at an even faster pace than it happened in our world. Laws that abolished serfdom gave people welfare, subsidized industry, and encouraged migration to the cities combined with foreign investment from the former Entente assures an economic boom for this country. Russia becomes one of the most industrialized nations in Europe and starts exporting their goods to other countries around the globe Internally, there is a purge against communists as there are being classified as traitors of the country. The country is controlled by three big factions. The church, the newly made capitalist class, and the army, with the latter having the bulk of the influence. The Great Depression still happens and Russia is heavily affected. All the economic prosperity that made Russia an industrial behemoth in the last years now becomes their biggest disaster. Millions lose their jobs. The currency loses value. Global trade starts to break down. And Russia once again is on the brink of a revolution. Hitler rises to power in Germany, just like he did in our timeline. Europe is about to be at war once again, 